Hello and welcome. Today I will explain how you can use our new retarget tool for the transfer of more complex animations, and this time I will take care especially about hand animations. So, let's jump into Blender and add a fresh Avastar skeleton to the scene. And then let's add an FBX animation from the Mixamo website. I already have downloaded a demo animation, so I only need to fetch it from my local drive. I navigate to File, Import, FBX. Then, select the previously downloaded animation. For this import it is necessary to also set an import option in the FBX importer. Open the armature section, and enable automatic bone orientation. If you do not set this option, then you will get a horrific result. So, this animation comes together with a mesh model. But since the mesh will not give us any advantage for our work, I simply select both armatures and switch to local mode, which you can enable by typing the slash key on the number pad. Now we see only the armatures and get not distracted by the meshes. Next, we will create a reference frame. Move the timeline cursor to frame 0. Select both armatures in object mode and enter pose mode. Then select all bones and reset rotation and translation. You can do this by typing Alt R and Alt G. Now it is important that you store your poses in the reference frame. Just type the I key on the keyboard, then keyframe location and rotation. In the next step we will adjust a few shape sliders in the Avastar rig. Let us first make the Avastar a bit smaller. And also narrow the shoulders a bit. Now adjust the torso length a bit, such that the center of gravity bone from Avastar and the hips bone from the imported rig are roughly at the same position. And let's also take care of the arm length. Then, we can make some fine adjustments of the skeleton in pose mode. Best is to first enable X mirror here. This saves us a bit of time. And then you can adjust the pose to your likes. And please make sure that you keyframe your reference pose once in a while, again by using the I key. And finally let's adjust the hand size. By the way, it is not necessary to align all bones perfectly. A rough match will do in general. And you probably will need to try for a while, until your adjustments are satisfying for you. After we have roughly aligned the rigs, we take a closer look at the fingers. And we immediately see, here is some work to do as the Avastar fingers are spread in rest pose, while the Mixamo armature has straight fingers. Let's take care of this now. First, and most important, again make sure that all bones of your rigs are keyframed in frame 0. Then we want to move the first knuckles of the fingers to better match the Mixamo rig. For this we must unlock the knuckles as follows. Select all first finger bones. And additionally select all thumb bones. Then move over to the other side of the rig, and select the opposite knuckles as well. Now open the Avastar Pose panel, and there, unlock the Animation Bone translation for the selected bones. Now enter Top View and make sure the X-Axis Mirror tool is enabled. In the Rigging panel, make sure that all rotation constraints are disabled. 
and also take care that the finger IK rig is set to simple constraints. This setup allows us to freely move the finger bones to wherever we want them to go. Now we are ready to move the fingers into place. But please take care. I am not sure what exactly is wrong with the thumbs of the imported animation. But I found that the transfer works best when you just move the Avastar thumbs into place, but do not change their rotation. As far as I can see, this gives the best results. And when you are finished with your adjustments, then again select all bones and store your pose into frame 0, by using the I key, and store rotation and location. Now that we have defined the reference pose, we next need to take care of the mapping table. But luckily there is not much to do for us, Avastar already comes with a ready-made Mixamo preset. So are we ready? Let's make a test and only transfer the very first frame of the animation. First, disable the option, use rest pose. Second, ensure that the reference frame is set to the correct number, in our case it must be zero. Also, because we are importing a legacy animation, we disable the option, with translation, simply because legacy animations do not use translations, except for the pelvis bone. Open the retarget transfer panel, then click, transfer pose. Then check the results. I do not expect this to look exactly the same as the original pose, because the rigs are not exactly identical, but the transferred pose should at least look very similar to the original one. Well, this looks already pretty good, doesn't it? So we can now try the full animation transfer. Just click the transfer motion button, lean back for some seconds, and then watch the result in action. The method I presented here in this video is just an example. It may very well be that other imported animations have more specific quirks and pitfalls to offer, hence you always have to carefully check what your animation does, and if it actually can be mapped to your rig at all but normally the preparations should be straightforward, and as long as the imported rig is at least somewhat similar to the Avastar rig, there is a good chance to get your transfer done in a reasonable amount of time. All I can tell for now is, happy animating, and take your time to learn and train your skills. Thanks for watching.